There are a few more pounds squeezed into those uniforms, but the skill is so on display. Luciano Emilio. Moreno. It's one goal, Troy Perkins. And maybe go back to Ian Hart. That's the beauty of this franchise from day one. United since now. Get out, get out! And Walker escorts it out. Now Ben Olsen steps back on the field. Why not? Luciano Emilio is giving him a good ball to work with. A little over 12 minutes left, give or take. I don't know how much stoppage time will be in this game. Luciano Emilio goes right at Robbie Russell. Here comes Freddie Adu. Oh, it's in the net. It's in the net. Freddie Adu. How do you do? And Emilio, why not? A celebration on the assist, too. Absolutely. I would take that. <laughs> Again, beautiful interplay. Great running off the ball. Fred is going at people. Movement off the ball is so important as well. These, these guys still have very sharp minds. Freddie Adu coming from a deep position, Dave. That's very hard to mark. First time sight netting to precision. Some of these players. And from day one was not just having excellent players, but guys that were willing to suffer. Guys that wanted to willing to go deep, like a Ben Olsen. Do the dirty work. Emilio! Boy. He had picked the spot, just couldn't find it that time. Day one was not just having excellent players, but guys that were willing to suffer. Guys that wanted to willing to go deep, like a Ben Olsen. Do the dirty work. Emilio! Oh boy. He had picked the spot, just couldn't find it that time. I mean, Marino. Emilio. Ben Olsen stayed outside. Here comes Ben Olsen. Oh! The coach almost got one. <laughs> Talking to himself. Forwards looking at him. Ben, give it to me. <laughs> You're not a goal scorer. But again. Wow. Great, great run. That's Williams in his familiar position, but unfortunately can't distribute. Said Echeverry, escorts it to Olsen. Here comes Moreno, Perkins is down. Oh, it's in the net! Luciano Emilio! And there's that celebration. Even Troy Perkins smiles. That familiar build-up with Marco Echeverry being again the architect on the break. There he is. Nice little through ball to Ben Olsen. The back heel doesn't really go. Stay with it, Moreno. Perkins almost, but there he is. Luciano Emilio. This goal scoring him up to a 2 1. Golden boot winner in 2007 with 20 goals and still has the golden touch. Again. <laughs> Come on, give us a celebration. Give us a celebration. There you go, baby. Luciano. Uh, note finishing out in, in this great stadium um, it's, it's for the fans and what they put in and all the support they've given us over the years so we just want to finish off the day strong and now is there a particular performance out there right now that's impressing you the most Peter Qualter for Echeverry the black wave is Qualter this is Echeverry this is Emilio this is Echeverry this is Chabala oh, <laughs> It's in the net. And Team Black is back in front. And that was very much a team goal. Absolutely. I mean, without a doubt, what, how graceful did you start with again Echeverry playing balls out wide, Santino Caranta getting involved. One touch football. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The header. Thanks for coming. 4 3. Brilliant. They might not physically capable anymore, but there's some sharp and quick minds out there again. Wow. Johan Cruyff said it's not about physical speed, it's about me. Your microphone a little bit better, but you played all over the world. Yeah. Put some of the emotion that this now has become your home, 
uh, and, and now you're busy with, with spreading the legacy of soccer to youngsters throughout this area. Yeah. Uh, so for me, it's very special to um, play at the RFK. When I just came in here from Honduras back 2007, I didn't know what represents uh, RFK Stadium. Since I was here, I started to, 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 to read some history about RFK, also World Cup games, and uh, a lot of good uh, uh, history in this stadium for me. So it's amazing uh, to be here today, to, to this last game. And uh, when I saw what, what I did in this stadium, uh, what this stadium represents for the MLS or United States history, I'm so I'm so glad to to be a part of this United in RFK for for many years. Now, have you had a chance to look at Audi Field and to see what's going on down there in Southwest DC? So sure, I'm excited. I'm I'm uh, I'm preparing my kids, so kids from my academy, soccer academy, to bring it to the new stadium, and hopefully we can have a Legends game at there too for the first game. That's how we should so, kick it off. Right? Yeah, with the Legends game. Hopefully sure. everyone will be recovered by then. And how important, Luciano, is that new home for DC United as DC United continue to grow towards the future? How important is that as to you guys as well? I think it's uh, important for for everything. So looks like we're gonna restart it. You know, we have a new uh, new uh, it's a new opportunity to make to to, to make something better uh, for the team and for for the fans. I think everybody's excited about the new stadium. So everybody, would you like to to watch the first game already over there? And uh, the new environment, everything I think will be so nice. And uh, I hope this United could show a new face at the new stadium. Well, Luciano, it was in the net once again. We appreciate your time yeah, this afternoon. Thank you so much. All right. Luciano Amelia, a golden boot winner with DC United. We continue our coverage in just a moment as we catch it down to DC United New York Red Bulls on a very special day.